Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today let's take a closer look at these Snap-on HJ47 ACF pliers. These are what Snap-on calls the eight inch talon grip flank jaw triple slip joint plier. And what it is is yet another take on their standard uh, slip joint plier. They also have this one, this is the 47 ACF. It's the classic kind of traditional slip joint here. I love these things. They've got the 40 HCP 48 ACF, which has the uh, special jaws for grabbing hose clamps. Uh, they've got this one. This is the, you can see that the high leverage or HL 138 ACPs. Uh, I love these things, they're great. But anyway, this is a uh, pretty much a direct attack on what I think uh, makes these Knipex, whether it's the Twin Grip, the Cobra, or if you're lucky enough, the Raptor to kind of attack a bolt or a, a nut. It's designed to have a special, essentially um, kind of trapezoidal shape up here in the jaw. I'll compare it straight ahead to these um, Knipex uh, Twin Grips. You can see it does, it is pretty beefy, but you know what? So is the twin grip. The twin grip also has that screw extraction tip. This has the standard kind of a crosshatch gripping surface there. It also has a cutter right here. If you look at the twin grip, no cutter. Um, so that's one of its claims. So let's take a look at it. Snap-on says this is designed optimally to grab bolts from 5 16 which is this. There you go, there's the 5 16 inch grab all the way up to one. And I don't have an exact one, I've got a little over one and a little under one. Um, but look at that thing. It does grab it. And here's a little bit over one. It does grab that. Uh, it allows the, uh, the hex um, corners to seat and to get a nice flat grab here so it's not rounding according to Snap-on, rounding off the um, edges. Now why I hesitate on that is just simply it's an 8 inch plier. This isn't that big. Now there are others, here's the Cobra. The Cobra you can actually set um, through many different um, adjustments here. So when you grab something, you can get the handle width that you uh, find optimal. So maybe I need it a little bit closer, closer together because of the size of my hand, I can do that. This has a total of three settings. So does it fit here? Yeah, but I can't hang on to it. I can go to my middle setting. Does it fit here? Um, wherever the, the natural set, set of the nut is. Yeah, but this is still pretty big. And then if I go out to the full on setting, yeah, that's when it starts to get a little bit more useful. Same problem if you're going with something small, but if I look at kind of this traditional sized nut bolt assembly here, this, this is still pretty big. That's a pretty, pretty wide spance right here. Yet if I go to the center, kind of the middle setting, Look at that, now they're, they're down towards near the end. This is pretty good. Um, the reason, oops, leave that, I got plenty more. The reason I find that interesting is because this is my um, collection of extra overlanding bolts, all grade eight. Um, I use a lot of different sizes, you know, whether I'm trying to kind of make something along the trail or, you know, replace something, but the question is, why would I want this thing over anything else? Like a larger plier with a great, big, highly useful set of jaws there. You know, Snap-on also makes a smaller set. Um, so the question is, is this in a smaller package less effective? You gotta answer that yourself. And of course I can go down easily with this gripping here. Snap-on says it doesn't damage the fasteners. That's really what they're after, is that you're not gonna score them up. And to me, a lot of times that is like second, third, and maybe even fourth on my list of concerns. But it does grab things. Does it grab them as well as say a Cobra? Um, 
I don't think so. And the reason is both of them grab pretty much the same. However, when you're grabbing with a Cobra, you have the opportunity to adjust specifically for what you want. It does go off to the side. That can be a problem for some fasteners, but to me, it's probably 50-50 whether you need it straight on or whether you need it at an angle. Um, as far as the, the grip here, this is smaller. I can open this up, thing, you know, this, this thing much larger. Both of these are on their maximum. And you can see that in what I'm going to call a traditional hand, you know, grabbing, that's about as big as I can get it. But if I use this, you know, using that same thing, I can get a much greater, um, greater grab. So if that's important, you know, it allows me to go up to a nut that size. Now, why would I even want to do that? That's the question. Um, you're talking about going after a tool like this. You know, uh, this is this is a, a fairly large socket. I've got a smaller one. This is a one inch. Snap on tops. This thing out is about a useful for one inch. But obviously, if I go larger, let's say this one here, I can easily grab that. It's nice and solid in there. Yet that also drops right down into my one and a quarter. This is a Craftsman here, USA made. That's the size right there. So I should probably be using a different tool. Or look at this, here's a snap-on adjustable wrench. I can easily size that. That is not gonna score up or mess up that. Or better yet, I can even go to a, a smaller set. This is a, a 180 of their plier, the Knipex plier wrench. Or better yet, maybe even go towards a larger plier wrench and have one of these on handy because this goes down to zero. You see that? Down to zero. I'm not running a small end, you know, say whatever here, this, this 5 16 so I can easily click that open and I can grab that about as secure as possible. Right there, no problem. But then I can also zip that thing out and go to you know, probably close to two inches, whatever that is. So why would I want that snap on if I could easily supplement it with, you know, supplement my tool kit with something smaller? Uh, well, one reason is it does have a nice kind of traditional plier head on it. These don't work that well for anything but maybe grabbing flat surfaces. This, on the other hand, I can twist wire, I can grab and bend things. It has much of the same impact in my toolkit as the standard kind of traditional slip joint plier. But why would I go with this at, at $59 versus something else? Well, that's, that's why I'm making this video. This is kind of interesting. Um, to me, it's somewhat in the also ran. Most likely I would be interested in grabbing my actual one inch snap on wrench if I had something that needed that kind of control. Um, but what I think might be good, snap on if you're listening, is to explore this option here in a smaller form factor using your high leverage pliers. Because the high leverage pliers have some advantages that are missing from the Knipex. Yes, these do have kind of that high leverage leverage, kind of that fulcrum activity. So that's pretty strong, but I think there is, there is a place yet to be explored looking at grabbing hex uh, surfaces or hex bolts, hex nuts with that trapezoid in a high leverage platform such as, as your plier here, you know, this one, the HL138ACP. There might be something there. Of course, the range of motion is gonna be quite different because you don't have the, uh, the triple slip joint and you don't have that ability to grab, you know, massively once you've gone to this kind of an arrangement. But there might be something there. Otherwise, you know, if you're interested in one of these two for your your overlanding kit, your toolbox, something else, or you're curious, is there an advantage to this? The advantage is it has a cutter and it's got the traditional grabbing surface right up front that the plier wrench doesn't have. Uh, if you compare it directly to the uh, twin grip, it's very similar and the twin grip does have the ability to grab things, 
but a little bit smaller uh, reach there. And it does with that, that little clicking mechanism here, it can give you maybe the appropriate size for your hand. However, the Raptor, this thing, I love it. This is amazing. When you get something inside here, the ability for this thing to grab on is phenomenal. So if I was to compare, let me throw this, I'll use a little bit larger nut here. So look at this, here they are, the Raptor versus the Snap-on. And you can really see, let me drop that one in appropriately here, the way this thing grabs, and this is at the maximum, it is just locked in here versus the snap-on. Try to get that, there we go, in there. You can decide which way to go, but there it is. So that's anyway an introduction to the snap-on HJ47ACF, or the flank jaw slip joint plier. And with that, dock out.